What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Mattel DC Multiverse Collect and Connect Clayface series, The Man of Steel Rebirth Superman. Really excited to have Superman in hand. Been looking forward to this figure for a really long time. So what we're going to do now is take a little break, get him open up, and then we'll have a better look at Superman. So stay tuned everyone. And here we have Superman posing out of the packaging. Before we have a look at the figure, let's actually take a look at his Build-A-Figure piece. He does come with the right arm of Clayface, so if you are looking to finish Clayface, Superman does come with the final piece, and once F Superman is all said and done, we'll have a look at Clayface. Continuing on to Superman, Superman actually does come with a few accessories. Well, just two accessories, really. He comes with an alternate set of hands. He comes with a pair of fists that he has on him outside of the packaging. And then he has a pair of flat hands that can be posed for flying. And I really do like that we get alternate hands with Superman. Because even though I do like the fist, I kind of want to see some flying pose hands, which this Superman does come with. With his accessories out of the way, let's actually have a better look at the Man of Steel. And so here we have a better look at the Man of Steel, and you can see... He, they did a really good job on Superman's face sculpt. I know there's a lot of people who say they don't like it, but if you look at the way he's drawn in Rebirth, this actually looks a lot like Superman, especially from his side profiles. From the front, it is a little bit strange. He kind of does remind me of Frank Miller's Superman. But obviously from the sides, you can tell it is Superman. Now one little glaring issue I have is that his face is a little too shiny, I don't know what it is, they use a really glossy plastic for his face and it does reflect on my studio. But I really do love his eyes, I love the deep blue eyes that they gave him. Really loving the Superman curl and how his hair is nicely slicked back. Moving on to his costume, he is wearing his Rebirth costume. He has a really nice S shield that you can see right here in the front. I just always love the way Superman's S shield looks, the red and yellow against the blue. It's just really nice. He has this really gorgeous cape, and I say gorgeous because it hangs perfectly, just the way you'd expect a cape to hang. It also does have the S shield on the back. Really iconic, and he actually did have this during the Rebirth. Well, the first few issues of Rebirth, he did change his costume twice. You can see he does have the red belt. Which, I really wasn't a fan of this belt, but it does break up the blue. I like this a lot better than the new 52 belt. You can see he does have some... I don't know if these, if you would call them wristbands, but he has these cuffs on his costume. Really love that. That's actually a design choice I like that they went with in Rebirth. Now, I know a lot of people say the hips do look a little bit weird, and yeah, I'll give it that, but... The way the hips are designed, it actually does offer quite a bit of articulation, so we'll look at that when we actually have a look at Superman's articulation. And then we finally get to his boots, which I feel is the weakest part of this figure. It's just a red line. They're not sculpted, they're not anything, it's just paint, red line, done. Uh, yeah, this is pretty much how his costume looked in Rebirth, how it almost looked like onesies, but... At least sculpt that so it doesn't look so... I don't know. It just looks strange when it's just painted, but I guess that's kind of the way it would look in a comic book. But still really loving the way this Superman figure came out. So what we're going to do now is take a little break and get Superman compared to a few other Superman you may have in your collection. And here we have the Multiverse Superman pose next to the Icon Superman and the Toys R Us exclusive Batman vs. Superman Superman. And finally, here we have the Multiverse Superman pose next to a DC Universe Classic Superman and the DC Multiverse Dark Knight Returns Superman. And these are probably my favorite Superman figures that I own. This one being probably my favorite Superman. If we can get Superman and Superman off screen really fast, so we can go on to the Rebirth Superman's articulation. He does have newer style articulation. It's really similar to a DC Universe Classics figure. He does have a ball jointed head which he can look up slightly he can look down uh, the only problem with mine and you can see it right here is that that ball joint feels really really rubbery you can see his head wants to always look forward and 
I'm worried that if I try to force that joint, it will break on me. So it is an issue that Mattel has with this really rubbery neck joint. That should not be that rubbery. Arms on a ball joint go out to about that far. Do a full 360. His cape is not at all in the way, and I really do love that. He has a bicep swivel. Single bend in the elbow, but it gives us really good range there. He has a swivel in the wrist. Sadly, no hinge, which I think he could have used a hinge in both his hands. He has an ab crunch, which goes back really far. Goes forward quite a bit. Not as far as I would like it, but good enough for Superman. He swivels at the waist. Legs go forward to about there. Go back. They go out all the way, so I really do like that. He has a swivel up high in the thigh, which is no longer right above the knee. He is double jointed in the knee, which you can see that works really, really well, and you can get both joints working. And it's a really nice design, I do like that. And then we do get a hinge in the ankle, which goes back and forward, and sadly no rocker ankles. But anyway, that's the Rebirth Superman for you guys. So what I'm going to do now is take a little break, get on pose for my final thoughts, and then we'll wrap up this review. So sit tight, everyone. So here we have Superman posed for my final thoughts. Overall, this is a really nice figure and I love the way it came out. The cape is beautifully sculpted. The extra hands really do look good in flying poses. And he is such a really nice articulated Superman. This is one figure you want to have in your collection. I am liking the fact that Mattel is updating their figures. And compared to Two-Face and Martian Manhunter, Superman here is miles ahead of those two. The DC Multiverse figures are starting to hit stores now. If you're lucky enough to find Superman and you're a Superman fan, definitely pick them up. I was fortunate enough to find my Superman at my local comic book store. I found the entire wave and picked them all up. Huge shout out to Asylum Comics. Don't forget to support your local comic book shops, people. With that being said, guys, I'm King of Dragons 5000. Don't forget to like this video. Leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, go check out all my other action figure reviews, as well as all my other DC Multiverse reviews, hopefully you find them informative. As always, if there's a figure you would like to see me review, let me know down in the comments, and if it's in my collection, I'll definitely have a look at it. And until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Take care, everyone.